Seventeen's UK and Gillingham and I've got the EQ2 to show you today. So we've unpacked it, we've got all the accessories laid out here. Uh, so I'll just run through and explain what each of these accessories are. Okay, so we've got uh, the various manuals that come with the machine here, the operation manual, um, optional accessories which are quite handy if you need to um, get an extra foot for something specific or the white table for example you can get the exact right part for your machine. Um, this one here is a, um, a grid for drawing your own stitch designs on so uh, in the machine you have the feature to be able to create your own designs, uh, your own stitches from scratch. You've got your quick reference guide with all your stitches in here and also your warranty card. You have your knee lift there, so that will lift the foot up for you using your uh, knee, so you don't have to use your hand to manually lift the foot. You've got your uh, cable there, ball caps here in uh, large, medium and small. And you've also got this tiny one here, which is very handy um, for the small, really small spools, like the, the 100 metre gutterman set kind of thread. Okay, you've got two different bobbin case covers here as well. This one's got the marks on. I quite like this one because it shows you the markings from the centre needle position rather than the left hand side needle position. So your quarter inch and your five eighths of an inch and your one eight one inch there as well. This one is if you want to do pin tucks and thread a, a cord through inside your pin tucks as well. So that's quite nice for decorative effects. You have three different feet up here, your quarter inch foot, your free motion embroidery foot and also your walking foot there. Spool nets, so to help your um, threads when they're a little bit slippery, sometimes they'll unravel too quickly, so you can pop a spool net on to stop that happening. Screwdrivers here, you've got a couple, three here actually, you've got your key one, this one here and the small one there. Touch uh, pen as well, so your stylus, so that you can use that for your screen rather than using your fingers. Your fingerprints on your screen. You've got your lint brush there to clean out your bobbin area and to clean out all the little bits of lint and, and thread in there. Your eyelet punch for when you're doing your keyhole buttonholes. A spare pack of needles. You've got a spare pull, spool pin, spare spool pin uh, to pop on your machine as well for twin needles. You have a shank adapter. Um, so this one is screw, it comes loose when you get it out of the machine. Uh, but that just goes in there and that attaches to your shank because this machine has a high shank on it. So if you want to use feet with a low shank adapter, um, you need to use the adapter here. So for example, your walking foot is for a low shank machine. So you need to use your shank adapter to lengthen your shank on your machine. Your twin needle here, so that's great for decorative stitching or parallel straight line stitching to look like a cover stitch. And your pouch here for all your accessories to live in. Uh, spare bobbins, you've got 10 spare bobbins and 10 spool uh, bobbin caps as well to tidy your threads away. A USB cable um, to do updates and things like that with your machine. Um, your foot pedal there. Then you've got your protective cover here, uh, which I really like because it's not solid like your traditional um, covers for your machines. So it can be flattened and stored away nice and easily and protects your machine as well. So on the machine we have a really nice clear um, display screen. Um, we've got two menus here for your utility stitches and your decorative stitches. So in utility we've got uh, straight stitches, zigzags, all your basic everyday stitches that you might need. You've got menus down the side for things like your buttonholes. This machine has got sideways feed feature so it will sew in different directions for you. Um, so if I just, I've got stitch number one selected which has a, a forwards and backwards lock stitch um, automatically on, on that stitch. I'm going to select my auto foot lift, my auto lock and my auto scissor button. So when I start sewing, put the foot down, it will stitch three stitches forwards, three stitches backwards, 
automatically at the beginning and then start to sew. And then when I stop, it lifts the foot up, leaves the needle in, allowing me to pivot round so I can do really nice, neat corners, which is great for appliques and quilting and all sorts of different jobs. And then when I want to finish, I just press the backwards button once. And because I've got these automatic buttons selected, it will do the three step lock stitch, cut the thread and lift the foot all in one go. So you've got this nice, neat finish. It's all locked off so it won't come undone. Okay, so in your character decorative area, we've got menus here where you've got lots of different decorative stitches behind each menu. So in the first one here, we can scroll down, you can see you've got 21 pages of different stitches to choose from. So you've got loads and loads to pick from here. So if you use your favourites quite often, you've got others you can pick up um, for another time. So if I select one like that, and then select another one, so it will combine the two stitches that I've selected together and then I can close this menu and go into any of the others and combine all of these together so I can also do that with my lettering so I've got different fonts of lettering as well as your Cyrillic and your Japanese um, so if I go to the italics this is quite nice so if I put in S and then your lowercase just type out the words you want to stitch and then we can close that go back to that first menu and put some other designs on the end as well to finish it off okay it tells me here that I need to change my foot to the end foot so in my tool tray here I've got all the feet that come with the machine in here so that's my end foot there so it's just got a deeper groove underneath the foot to allow for those decorative stitches to go over finish that foot off that one okay and lower the foot and then the same as I did with the straight stitches I'm going to make sure all my auto features are on so my auto foot lift auto lock and auto scissors because then when it finishes it will do all of those features at the end automatically and this is using the sideways feed so your stitches come out much larger than the standard um, machine stitches do your maximum stitch widths being 40 millimetres wide. switched on the lock stitch cut the thread lifted the foot so you've got a nice combination of decorative stitches and your lettering <laughs> 